Hello my friends, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here from the workshop. Just cleaned up the workshop and started messing it up again because working. <laughs> I hope you guys are alright. I got asked by a friend and uh, Instagram follower if I could do a YouTube sort of video tutorial on how I do my paint jobs in general. So not a specific sort of paint job, but just like in general how I paint uh, my Nerf blasts and props. And I thought, sure, I can do this, and I'm going to give you a brief overview with a little project that I'm doing right now because it just fits perfectly. It's going to show off most of the techniques. So here on the bench, we have the shells of a hammer shot, and the preparation for every paint job is a solid um, sanding and um, you know preparing of the surface that you want to paint. In this case, I'm going to show you all the stuff I do, and it's actually very little. So first off, to make your life easier when sanding blasters. Power tool. Power tool, very handy. That's my trusted old school sander bits and bob. Um, does most of the things. If I need to hit more finer detail, I have this. And if I be even finer, then I have little bits and bobs of sanding paper. But mostly I'm using that one. And so what I've done with this blaster so far, I have removed the hammer shot name. I have removed all the um, labels and things. The zombie strikes gone. And I've been over it to sort of roughen up the surface where I want it roughed up. So this one here I like actually that clean, so I'm not going to rough this up. And knowing that the primer I'm using is actually good on that plastic, I don't need to. I went over this grip a little bit, um, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to paint this or if I'm going to wrap this for this one. So that's basically all I do. And then there's bits and bobs like this one where sanding is really hard, so I don't even bother. No, I honestly don't. So over here you can see the same thing. Um, I've removed this hammer shot black painted logo because in my experience whenever Nerf Plastics painted it's best to remove it. So yep, remove that. And then the same things over here. And that's it. So with this one it will now get some uh, Dremel work done to it because I want to roughen the body up a little bit more so it's seen some um, battle and some fights, you know, telling a little story. It doesn't have anything to do with a paint job, which is why I'm not going to put it on the video, but um, just so you're not surprised when the next step comes along. Um, this is it for now, and onwards. Alright, so all the um, modifications on the shell are done. I'm in my kitchen now, and now it's time to clean this. So I have tried to sort of brush off all the dust and all, you know, the plastic and things. But most important step is to fully clean it, which is a two-step progress in my terms, or three-step if you want. So what I do is I just uh, take a brush and just standard dishwasher uh, soap, a bit of water, and just give it a good, um, give it a good scrub, um, mostly just on the outside, but also checking the inside if there is lots of dust and buildup and whatnot. And then I'm going to put it over there. Ooh, is this bright? I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to let it dry in the summer if the sun's out I put it in the sun and it's dry within a couple of uh, hours um, but for now I'm probably going to leave it there for a day and then we're going to come in with step three um, so yeah so that's cleaning now all right back in the basement for step number three so now this is all dried and um, you notice I'm wearing a glove and there's a purpose to that now before we can start priming this thing I do a, I do clean it off one last time with uh, methylated spirit, and this is to make sure that there is no oils and fats and whatsoever left on the outside of the blaster, so the primer can connect to the plastic perfectly. Uh, most important thing is to wear a glove because your hands are um, fatty and oily all the time, and so if you, if I'd be touching this with my hand. Um, this step will be useless. So that's what I'm going to do to all of these and then uh, let it dry. Remember to do this, to use this kind of stuff in a well ventilated area or wear a mask. I'm in my basement so I have a mask. So that's what I'm going to do and that's that step. Alright everybody, now with the um, methylated spirits all dried off because that you know evaporates really quickly we're ready to start painting. Normally I do this outside, but it's raining today and, you know, it's winter, so it's not going to get nicer anytime soon. So I'm going to do this little blaster in my basement. Make sure to wear a mask and open your window whenever you get the chance if you spray painting inside. 
So what I have here is a cardboard box as a base. Focus, there we go. I'm using Universal Primer um, brand I get just um, you know from the painting supply. Come on, focus. There we go. From the painting supply just around the corner. I don't know why it won't focus. Let's try this. Bam! Great. All right, there we go. So I'm using this as a primer. I have like little bits and pieces I have set up like this all the time. That's a bit of blue tack, which is not blue anymore, um, on an old paint can thing, so that I can then spray paint this and then set it here to let it dry. And yeah, so I'm going to do this now. Basic is the same with all the spray paints. So don't just go over it like that, like you know, crazy. Just go little strokes side to side. Um, with this one, I honestly, I will sort of just sort of tilt this so that I can get every angle on the first glance and then put it down and do the bit of the handle um, at the end. And yeah, I hope that my cameraman will get here tomorrow. So when we do the silver, you can actually see what I mean. But that's a step now. Make sure to have like just a little um, uh, primer everywhere, but don't overdo it with the primer and then let it dry for at least a couple of hours. So this one needs about four to six hours. And so yeah, that's it. All right, everybody. Now here we see the primer is all dried and ready to go. Um, this has been sitting here for a day now, day and a half. And <clears throat> yeah, it's all, it's all good. I love how these scratches came out and it's gonna be great. So the next thing to be for this one is gonna be automotive silver. And with this blaster, um, silver is going to be the main color so this is also going to be the color but if I was to do a different color base code for this I'd still use that as a base and then let this sit for let's say maybe three to four or five minutes um, so it dries a little bit but it's not fully dry and then you take the color and go straight over it so it's kind of a wet on wet paint so this will then combine with the top layer color and give its protective attributes to the top color, which is the idea. But in this case, because this is going to be mainly silver, um, this is going to be the color as well. So we're going to spray paint this with that. Um, I have a new setup for the phone thing, which I'm going to try to set up now to give you guys an idea of what I look like when I spray paint. Woohee! All right, everybody. Hello. Here we are. Is the next step. Um, the silver has all dried and is all nice and shiny. And so we're gonna go to the next stage, which is adding color. In this particular case, I'm gonna try something weird. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a green thing. So we have two greens here, um, Vallejo game colors, and we also have. Um, this one here, which is acid green, which is very, very UV active, and um, we're going to com combine this on this blaster, and these two colors will be painted um, with my old sock, um, or just any piece of cloth, uh, just to sort of smear it on kind of thing. Um, and this is me trying out this paint technique, haven't done much with that so far. And then we have a sponge 
for painting, uh, sponge painting some of that UV uh, green in the very end. I'm not entirely sure on the setup of how much green I want, but basically this rail will be black in the end. Uh, part of the grip will be black. This or possibly this entire thing will be black. And I was thinking of having this black, so just leaving the green for the main body. Um, but I'll see how I feel about it once the green's on there. This is a great example of project change as you go. So this is what I've done. Um, several layers of green and colors and things. And I don't like it. Which is why I'm going to go to um, sponge painting again. And try and see if I can... So I'll check without having to completely redo the paint job. Yep, mistakes happen. So the um, sponge painting came out great, and um, it is highly UV active, which is fantastic. So yep, these bits and bobs. And um, yep, now it's going to be um, a bunch of detailing and everything, and then that's going to be the last step before I do the grip. Um, it's all going to be hand painted basically, because um, this is not a tutorial on how I paint. This is a painting in general tutorial. So what I do. Is I use different brushes like that, the Citadel brushes, um, different colors, and a wet palette water. Just hand paint the stuff. And then what I'm going to be doing to this is just going to get black, 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 black. The back here will be black. This part will be black. This part will remain silver. Same here. And the handle will be a green handle wrap paint job, similar to um, the fire and stuff. That I've done on the other builds, so if you want to see how that's done, check out the tutorial. Um, yeah, so off we go.
right everybody final stage it's the clear coating so we got all the details done on the blaster last night and it's looking marvelous I really love how this came out and um, that's gonna be the drum for it by the way I haven't talked about this yet I will in the review of the blaster um, so yeah in terms of clear coating what I always do with my nerve blasters I do um, two layers of Montana gloss focus is not really there um, two layers of gloss which is really really shiny and then one layer of matte and if you want to have it less shiny then you can also do two layers of the matte but I always do one he uh, two here and one there and um, I will be doing this outside because the weather is good today but um, no matter what when you do spray paint with cans and everything make sure you know safety first wear a proper mask a proper respirator and make sure your filters are clean and everything so this is what we're going to be doing and um, I forgot to mention uh, in between these two coats like let it you know dry and sit um, so it's going to be this layer uh, two three minutes another layer two to four minutes uh, that layer and then let it dry and what I also do before I assemble blasters, I let them dry for at least 48 hours if I can to make sure that all of this clear coat paint is really dry so it doesn't stick together. So yeah, now off we go, do the painting. All right, three layers applied. It's shiny and shiny and wet, and it needs to dry now. And um, because it's cold, I'll keep it out here for let's say 20 minutes or so to just air out, and then I'll put it in there. Um, because you don't like when it's cold, you run the risk of condensation clogging up in the paint while it's drying. So it'll sort of get some milky white. That's a clear coat for you if the air around it is too cold or too wet and uh, so the, uh, the words water inside can't get out and therefore it stays and it sort of creates that milky effect so to avoid that because it is cold um, I'm gonna put this inside really soon and then keep the room well ventilated all right everybody that was the um, video painting tutorial using this build um, I hope you did learn a lot from uh, the step-by-step -step video. Um, I hope I made it clear to many of you like what the steps are. If there's any questions, let me know. Um, I'll try and cover them. If you want to know more about painting techniques and what I do, uh, just let me know. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. This video is already a lot longer than it need to be, so I'm going to wrap this up quickly. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, my social media links are in the description. And I'm going to put this down. And um, yeah, go check this out. It means the world to me if you check out my Patreon uh, as well as my Instagram, my website and all that sort of jazz. And um, remember to press the like button, uh, leave a sub, leave a, you know, all the things, all the numbers and all that. And I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And if you want to see more tutorials like that, let me know. And stay tuned for two more great videos coming up within the Christmas uh, period of time and like also like make off and things and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. And on that, Merry Christmas and uh, good start to the new year. See you around. Love and sunshine, my friends.